I'm an astrophysicist and I work on simulating galaxies and studying how they affect their environment at different era in the history of the universe. A star is uh, basically a massive cloud of gas which collapses under its own gravity and the collapse produces heat which starts fusion uh, in its core which stops it from further collapse. So that's when we say a star was born. So the different types of stars are basically stars of different masses and at different evolutionary stages. Stars at less than about 8% the mass of the sun um, become what we call as brown dwarfs. Stars much bigger than the sun would be giants or blue giants because of the color. And sun, as it evolves into a later stage in life, it becomes what we call as a red giant. In the night sky, some stars are brighter than the others because one, because they're closer to us, so they appear bigger and brighter. The other depends on their life cycle. So the blue giants and the red giants are much bigger and they produce a lot more light and they become brighter. Every mass star has a different life cycle. Uh, the sun has an, a lifetime of about 10 billion years and currently we are approximately in the middle of it. After about five more billion years, it would evolve into what we call as a red giant phase. So in this phase, um, the core of the sun has finished most of its hydrogen. So the hydrogen uh, fusion into helium stops and only a little bit is left over as a shell just around the core. So hydrogen is still burning into helium there, but in the core it has stopped. So the core starts contracting, but the heat due to the shell causes uh, the rest of the star to expand and the outer layers of the sun could reach much further than the distance of the earth from the sun. So we would be a part of it, uh, of the sun at some point. Stars much smaller than the sun die as a white dwarf, so they just uh, burn out and cool down. Stars much bigger than the sun become a supernovae, and uh, they explode, releasing very high amounts of energy and producing a large number of elements, especially much higher than ion in, uh, during this process. And it's these elements which then become what we call as a stardust where future generations of stars are formed and uh, eventually probably life forms. So, which is why we say we are made of stardust. <laughs>